All right, hey YouTube, um, another video here on the Cal 20, and this one is uh, coming right on the heels of the last one, so obviously looking up you can see that the bottom still is without the keel, and the point of this video is just to kind of explain how I handled what, in my opinion, has been one of the most frustrating things about taking the keel off and trying to um, epoxy it and get it back on the boat, and that's keeping... Um, keeping the rust off of the keel. So um, most of the keel, I'm going to take the camera and turn it around here. Most of the keel is pretty easy to epoxy. Uh, you have these nice big flat surfaces and you know you can just lay the epoxy on there and it'll it'll stick all right but then you have the bolt holes. So the frustrating thing about that is when you try to, they're, they're basically if I had this to do over again, I might consider something different, but um, they're just big enough to handle the bolts themselves, uh, which I can show you in a second. But, so, these are just big enough for the bolt, and so if you try to get some epoxy in here to keep the rust away, uh, or whatever resin you would want to use, I'm using epoxy, then... <clears throat> If you sand it down to allow the bolt to sit in the hole again, you're probably going to sand through the resin because you only have, you know, maybe a millimeter of uh, breathing room. So my solution to this, and you can kind of see, I'm trying to think if I have one here that's uh, on it real quick. All right, so my solution to this has been to grind it out as much as I could. I had originally filled it with some putty, you know, the putty doesn't hold or it's too thick and then you have the problem of sanding through it again. So I ground it out and then I just laid very, uh, I took four ounce laminate and just laid pieces into it. And when I do the other side, I'll show you the process there. I sort of folded it into a cone, stuck it through and then cut so that it would spread out evenly here. And the four ounce has proven thin enough that I can still sand it down just the slightest bit and get the hole through there. Uh, and it seems to be holding and it seems to be covering everything nicely. So anyway, now the job is to just sand this by hand uh, just so that there's um, some rough surface for another layer of laminate, which I'm going to take. So I put laminate on the bulb, but I didn't put any on the sides of the keel here. So what I'm going to do is cut a big piece that's going to cover the whole thing. It's going to go up around and then come halfway across the top of the flange. I'm going to do that from both sides, front to back. And then uh, when I get the keel up on its side, I'm going to take a piece that covers uh, one single piece that goes from about right here, uh, right where the, uh, maybe uh, three or four inches below the flange. And then it's going to wrap up around, all the way around, and down the other side to the same spot on the other side. So that way there's one single piece. And again, the reason for that is not so much for strength or anything like that. Um, it's because, you know, if you try to put resin on these very thin edges, uh, it goes on very thin. And if you try to then sand it, 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 you'll sand through it and you just won't realize it until it's been sitting for a week or two and you start to see rust spots. So anyway, like I said, that's been... A frustrating part of this process. Um, I'm trying to get the keel completely encapsulated. When I got this, it was covered with. Uh, it had been, it had been treated with some fairing putty, and you can look at some of my older videos and see that um, some of the pits in the cast iron uh, were sort of puttied in and then fared, and then the whole thing was just painted basically. So uh, I don't want to have to be taking the boat out of the water and. I'll just put this back on here. So I don't want to have to be pulling the boat out and re, you know, re-sanding the keel uh, for places where the paint might have not kept the rust from, you know, happening because of the salt water. Uh, I don't want to have to deal with that, so this is going to be completely encapsulated in epoxy, uh, and then the paint's just going to go over the epoxy. And the rest of the hull is getting an epoxy barrier coat, but I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with that on the keel. I don't know how necessary that is, so at the very least it'll be um, totally epoxied with just regular resin and laminate, and then 
uh, painted. So uh, that's where we are now. I'll try to show this when it's done. I don't have a um, very sophisticated editing process, so I'll probably just give you the uh, before and after. So I'll make another video if I pull this off. All right. And um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to post it in the comments, and I'll check back in when this process is further along.